Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome here. My name is Kyleen. I post motherhood and lifestyle content and I have two kids. Uh, one is 22 months old, that's my son Rocky, and my daughter is three months old and her name is Echo. So today I just wanted to share our typical nighttime routine with you guys, just a night in our lives with two under two. Echo is now three months old, so we kind of have gotten into a good routine of what a typical weeknight looks for us, and I figured it would be helpful to share. I will try my best to share as much of my routine, schedules, that kind of thing, so that this video is just jam-packed with as much information as possible, but if you guys are curious kind of like what schedule my kids are on, um, I'll start with Rocky. Like I said, he'll be two in about two months, so he has one nap a day. It's typically from about 12.30 to three, and then he wakes up at 8 a.m. and he goes to bed around 7 p.m. So he does sleep about 13 hours at night and then has like a two and a half hour nap. So he does really well with sleep. Echo also does really well with sleep. She is sleeping through the night too. She is just on a little bit of an earlier schedule. So she goes down around 6.15, 6.30 and then she wakes up at about 5 36 but i don't feed her until about 6 a.m so they're both doing great um, echo takes about four naps a day right now her wake windows are about an hour an hour and 15 minutes and then her naps are about two hours except for her last nap of the day it's about 45 minutes so i'll make sure to share that with you guys and how we get through witching hour and just dinner time and all that kind of stuff with two little kids. I'm going to be starting this video around 3 p.m. That's typically when both of my kids wake up from their afternoon nap. At that time, I need to feed Echo, and so I will have Rocky just kind of hang out with me in the playroom, and I just try and keep him as entertained as possible. But yeah, that's where I'm gonna start off this video, and I will show everything until we put both of the kids down, and I'll explain just kind of everything along the way. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far I didn't realize that this has attachments for cards right here. And so Echo's been loving this even more because she can just like stare up at things. Rocky, you need to be so gentle around Echo, okay? Make a mama, slow down. Show me, slow down. Thank you. As you guys just saw, Echo did not eat very well. She's been doing this like here and there where she'll just have like one bad feeding and so I'll have to pump and then give it to her in a bottle but she took it out of the bottle just fine. So she is now, like I showed you, hanging out with her play gym. Are you, are you thirsty? Okay, your water's in your room. Your purple water's in your room. You wanna go get it? Okay, it's on your shelf, okay? Yep, on your dresser. This is the time of the day where I try to hang out in the playroom. Um, we usually leave the house in the morning and this morning we had a play date with one of his friends so he hasn't really played in here. Um, I don't think he can reach it, hold on. So anyways, this is the time of day where we'll hang out in here. Echo is up for an hour and 15 minutes so by 4.15 I'm gonna lay her back down so until then we're gonna play and I'm just gonna try and focus on like interacting with him as much as I can and just hanging out, huh? Down. <laughs> he wants to go downstairs. Uh, Rocky, we're gonna play upstairs in your playroom first and then we can go downstairs, okay? Baby? Yeah, we're gonna play with baby. <laughs> Are you chugging? You know we're gonna have a really good time. Whoa! Whoa! Good night. job, Rocky! Did you go across the bridge? <laughs> Give a little 
Don't you dare me. Strive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so free there. With the wind blowing. Are you kidding? I. Whoa, you can't jump off. Don't you dare jump off. Don't you understand? That we only get one life on one. Bring your hands back up. There you go. You got it. Good job. Slide down. Let me see you. Kitchen? Keegan? Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh. Don't you dare. <laughs> Let's talk about something with sis. What do you wish you could do all day long? Can we tell sister girl? I wish that you and Echo would lay with me all day long and we could watch movies and have nummy snacks and you just lay on my chest and you don't move do you wish you could watch trash trucks all day uh, yeah you tell sis <laughs> yeah tell her about trash trucks yeah they take out our trash uh-huh you tell her <laughs> we're not watching trash trucks baby we're playing out here okay well that did not go the way I was intending it to. Can you help mama? Okay, Bubby, you need to wait for mama. Leave that bottle there. I need you to leave it there, and I need you to go. You gotta shut the door. Okay, it's one night, Ethel. During the kids naps, I made a little sensory bin for Rocky. It's basically just cereal and then toys. So I got Cheerios and I grounded those up to make them like fine like sand. I put cocoa pebbles for like rocks and then I put a dump truck, a crane, a construction sign and then like a little bowl and scoops so that he has like an activity to do with it. It's edible, it's kind of messy but it's something you can just like vacuum up and it'll probably kill at least like 15, maybe 30 minutes or so. So it's 4.15 now, Echo is down. She does really good going down. She gets a little upset for like a minute and then she's over it and she falls asleep. So very blessed with that. But yeah, we're gonna play with this little activity because I try and do things like this. I don't do this as often as I wish I would, but I like to try and do them when it's just Rocky and I, so that way I can really pay attention and give him my one-on-one, -on -one, since sensory activities can be hazards sometimes, so. What is it? What is it? Okay, so we have to keep it all in the bowl, okay? Whoa, can you wanna sit down? Yeah. Okay, so look, this is a construction site. You know how you read that book? Good night, construction site. Good night. Uh. That's what I made for you. Yeah, you can pour some of that. That's sand. These are rocks. You can put rocks in your dump truck. Sand in your dump truck. And then you bring it over and you dump. Uh. Whoa, is that cool? Uh. You can use your scoops too, okay? I've said it many times, I know. I usually give Rocky a snack around like 4 because we eat dinner at 5.30, but I totally forgot. So I gave him a couple of those peanut butter covered pretzels or pretzel covered peanut butters or peanut butter filled pretzels <laughs> so he's just gonna snack on those while he's finishing he is loving this activity i do notice though sensory activities go so much better when i engage with him and kind of like help him play or just like keep him company um and then 
I always tell him that it needs to stay inside the bin and I'll give him a few uh, chances and if he keeps doing it, we'll just take it away. Mama has to get, oh, bless you. Mama has to get your shoes on because guess whose birthday is today? Baby. Baby Becca's? Yeah, should we go tell him happy birthday? Uh, you say, I can't believe you're one. Uh, Can you hold up one finger on your hand? How many? <laughs> He's one, like this. One. That's, no. that's how old baby Beckham is. Huh. How old is Rocky? Me. How old are you? Abby. You're one too. But in two months, you're going to be two. Is that crazy? Baby, baby is zero. Uh, She's so little, huh? Okay. Okay, go get your suitcase till we're ready to go. It is just about five o'clock, which is when Nathaniel gets off of work. And typically this is when one of us will make dinner and the other person will hang out with the kids. It usually is me making dinner, but lately Nathaniel has been making dinner. But anyways, today is actually our nephew's birthday. He turns one today, and so we're gonna go to dinner with Nathaniel's family to celebrate. And originally, I hated the fact that I was vlogging today because I was like, this isn't a normal night in our life. But I figured it would be beneficial to show you guys like how I adjust the routine when we do have things come up. Sorry, Rocky's pushing a suitcase around. But yeah, I figured instead of just like not filming anymore and like waiting to do this, I should just share how we adjust. So that is the plan. We're supposed to meet at 5.15. And then typically we would start dinner at five and eat like at 5.30 and then by 5.45 we're like doing bath time because Echo goes down at like 6.15. But I don't think we'll be home until like even 6.15. So everything's just gonna kind of be pushed back, which is totally fine. But I just wanted to share how we adjust to Things like going out to dinner when we have an early bedtime for our baby. Dada. Are you gonna turn on the fan, Dada? Go drink some water, do you guys? Go turn it off. <laughs> you gonna go start it? Why? Who's gonna start it? If you've had a baby in the summer, you need a fan that clings on like this. It is life changing for when we go places and the fact that she's like rear facing. You're all ready. When all the crows decide to meet, they settle down beneath my feet. Dinner felt a little chaotic with our kids. I just, Rocky was eating that uh, salsa and it was hot and so of course his mouth was burning but he wanted more. So anyways, I did not get many clips, but we're on our way back. Um, it's like 6.10, I believe, and Echo needs to eat at like 6.15, but because we're super close to her bedtime, I don't wanna, I didn't wanna feed her like at the restaurant and then come home and then put her to bed and like it prolong the time. So I'm just going to prolong her feeding like an extra 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna get her bathed, get her ready, and then I can feed her right before. She goes down, sorry, there's hair all over my face. I feel like with my second kid, I've learned that it's okay if things are 15 minutes behind. Like she only eats five times a day, no matter what times they're at. So it doesn't really matter that it's like 15 minutes late. But with Rocky, I would have like never let that happen. So just trying to be a little bit more relaxed. Okay, Mama's helping her. Hey. Is 
already on the ground. Look, right there. Mom. Okay, where do you sit? Mom. Check a check a boom boom. Go to your room, crazy boy. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I was always the one to find myself lost in one conversation. Because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me wrong. I'm so mistaken. Because you put all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever. Feel so free, oh my sweet baby. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Our bedtime routine with two kids is already tiring enough. Filming it added a whole new layer and I don't think I want to do that ever again <laughs> for at least a long time. It didn't help that as you guys saw Echo didn't eat from both sides again so I had to go get a bottle again and then she hardly even ate that bottle which is just so confusing to me but we also got both of them down just way later than normal. Echo's normally in bed by like 6.30 at the latest, and it was like 7 when we got her down, and then Rocky should have been in bed by 7. I think it was like probably like 7.20 when we got him down, which is not a huge deal, but it does cut into our time that we have after the kids go down, and that is what makes it a big deal. But I got my snack. If you guys haven't tried those chocolate-covered bananas from Trader Joe's, you have to. They're so good. They remind me of True Fru, but they're literally like a third of the price. We're gonna watch Survivor. We're watching season 41 right now. We ended up paying for a Paramount Plus. So we have all 42 seasons, and so we've just been on a Survivor kick. But I wanted to share how our routine typically is because usually we don't put both kids down like back to back like that. 
So when we bathe them at like 545, we just bathe Rocky and get him dressed and like lotioned up and brushed his teeth, whatever, all of that at the same time. But then he doesn't go down until 7. So typically we would lay Echo down between like 615 and 630 and then we'll hang out with Rocky until 7. Sometimes we watch a movie. That is a new thing. He is enjoying movies finally. Majority of the time we typically play in the playroom or just like do something as a family. But that time is kind of nice when it's just the three of us um, and it feels a little less chaotic when there's a gap in between the putting the two down because if not, it just feels like we're putting down kids for like an hour. I also wanted to address the fact that we are putting Echo down in her room. Um, we've been doing this for like a week or two. What do you think, babe? Like two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks? Yeah. That way we can hang out in our room. We were hanging out downstairs often, but our couch we have realized we don't like. <laughs> um, I don't think we knew this because we haven't hung out as much as we have lately on it, but the cushions just like slide and like the two pieces come apart and it's just not comfortable. And so we've been putting Echo down in her room so that way we can just like be loud, have the lights on, watch whatever we want in our room. And then right before we go to bed, like around like 9, 9.30, we'll bring Echo in. We will just go grab her sound machine and move that over and then just grab her and put her in the bassinet. So it's nothing crazy. Uh, but she stays asleep. I think one time she did just like open her eyes, but she didn't really wake up. She fell right back asleep. So it's been pretty good. But yes, that was it for a night in our lives. That's our typical night routine minus the eating out. I did have chicken tacos that I was going to make tonight that were like cilantro lime that I haven't made before. So we'll have to say that for a different vlog, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am going to enjoy Nathaniel staring at me like, hurry up. Mm. <laughs> but we are going to enjoy just watching Survivor and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. That was a rocky bye.